Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Yvonne and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a mini beauty room tour. The last time I showed you guys my room was when I did the makeover, um, I think back in December, I believe. And I just kind of wanted to take you around and where I got this idea is because I personally like to watch like beauty room tours like when people post them and house tours and whatnot so i was like why not do one of my own you know like just a mini beauty room tour or office tour and so with that being said let's get right into this video okay so this is my beauty room we're gonna start off with this wall right here this is where i have my thrifted wall basket which i absolutely love i also have one downstairs and at one point i was thinking of having one in my master room which I'm still kind of thinking about it, but I don't know yet. But anyways, all these baskets are thrifted. And then I also have this wooden clothing rack that my fiance actually made for me. And I kept it this natural color, like the natural wood color. It's not even stained or anything, it's just natural. I kept it like that because I just love how that color looks and it also kind of goes with like the basket wall. It just kind of all ties in together. So moving on from that, I have this dramatic pothos and the reason I say dramatic is because if I forget to water her for like one day she'll her she'll faint and she's so dramatic but I love her leaves they're absolutely gorgeous like look at that I love the variegation in there and down here I have this little avocado plant and I know it looks weird in this basket there used to be a yucca cane in there but it died and so i just threw it out and i don't have anything else to put in there so i just put the little avocado plant for now i mean i know it looks pretty sad in there but maybe it'll grow into it if not then i'll just put something else in there so moving on from that plant to this plant right here i have a monstera adesani and this one used to be downstairs in my living room i moved it upstairs just because it's a lot warmer and this room does like i said get a lot of light so i don't want my plant to die but I don't understand what is going on because as you can see her leaves are turning yellow and brown and I water her like maybe once or twice a week but I don't know why she's doing that so if you know why plants do that please let me know. So this basket that the, um, the Monstera is on is thrifted and also this little table and this table you can actually open it it's got like a little compartment in there to put some junk i don't have anything in there there's really no point in putting anything in there because i'm gonna have to be lifting up my plant and i really don't want to do that especially since she does have really long vines and i'm thinking of actually vining them through this i feel like that would look pretty cool i don't know yet but so moving on from my plant i do have these like really light curtains and i love these curtains they let a lot of light in and these are from target and they almost have like a linen look to them but they're not linen they're cotton but i absolutely love these little details that it has like the little fringes on the side and so right next to that i have these um i was gonna say frames these shelves and all these shelves are thrifted i did paint them black just so they all match and I had them staggered just so it looks like the wall is fuller versus just having them all like in a straight row. Um, I just kind of like that this look better. And the frames that are on here are all thrifted and painted. And the little paintings in them, I the little art in them, I just did them myself inspired by pinterest of course and i just the way i decorated them i just wanted it to be kind of simple but at the same time i wanted it to reflect who i was so i just put these two books right here and i love these like the way these books look like they just look old and vintagey so i have them facing this way along with my old little chanel perfume and i know these shelves are really dusty i need to like clean them and then this just a little simple Art. And on this shelf, I have my Polaroid camera and this camera you can connect it via Bluetooth to your phone and just print pictures from there Which is what I do most of the time And I just have it there because it's kind of cute, you know, a little cute little decor I like taking pictures so why not have it there? And I also it makes me see it every day like that I remember I actually have it and not forget about it because I tend to do that and then this is a rose that I got for Valentine's Day a few years ago and it is a real rose like and it's got like the gold plated thing but it looks cute I like it and then these frames again they're 
thrifted, painted, and I did the little art myself. And on the top shelf, I have that little line art I got from Oko. If you saw my unboxing video, that is where I got it from. Um, and I really liked it. It's just simple, cute little line art, and I need to find a frame for it just so it can look better. And then this is a Chanel powder that kind of goes with the perfume that I had, but I don't know if they still make this or not, but either way, I don't use it. So I just kind of kept it up there for decor. And then same with that vase that's right there. Um, that one's thrifted and painted. But yeah, that's my little shelf situation right there. And I know you can still see my Christmas lights. I need to take those down, but I always forget about them. And then right here, I have, I'm gonna look at my socks. Gotta add a pop of color somewhere, right? But anyways, this mirror right here was on my vanity when we were at my old house. Ever since we moved, I just never really bothered to put it back on. Um, it's really heavy and it's really old and it's literally been with me like for many, many years. I want to say since middle school and I don't want to get rid of it because it's a pretty good size. So I just kept it right here in my room and I have these plants next to it just to add in a little bit more decor. And this mirror, I, I do use it. I use it when I'm doing my little styling videos to look at my outfits or just to take pictures. Um... And I feel like it also just like the light reflects off of it and it just makes the look the room look a lot brighter. So that's why I have it in here. And like I said, I have two more plants right here. That is a neon pothos. Absolutely love the way her leaves look. And this is a snake plant that I got at um can't remember what store I got got it at, but it's got a little baby growing right there. But yeah, I love snake plants and pothos because they are the easiest plants to take care of. Super, super easy. So over here is my little vanity situation. It's not the best, but it works for me. This is a scarf, a blanket scarf from Amazon. This pillow, I got it at Ross or Marshalls a few years ago and I just kind of kept keep it here. This is an Ikea chair. It's just a basic, you know, little white plastic chair. It gets the job done, but I do want to get another chair because it's hard and it's low, but you can, and you can't adjust the height. And I feel like I need a little, something that's a little bit higher because when I'm editing my videos on here on my laptop, it just my I don't know, I feel like I'm too low and it just ends up hurting, hurting my back and whatnot. So I just want something more comfy, something more, something that will kind of tie in everything because I feel like this is just kind of like eh. So over here, let's do, I'm gonna do the top first. So on top, I have my little wellness journal. I used to keep it in my room, in my bedroom, but I always ignored it. Brought it in here, I see it every morning when I'm getting ready, it reminds me to you know, write something down in there, even if it's like a sentence, something small. So I always write down in there, this gum, if you saw my unboxing video, it's a CBD gum. This gum is really good. I like it. I like the flavor um, and it's also supposed to help with like immunity and stuff. I chew this every now and then. Not all the time, just every now and then. Over here I have this candle that I, I believe it was a present and I don't know exactly where it's from but it smells really good. And this is a thrifted vase. That it doesn't really have a home yet, but I just put it there. Maybe if I get like some, what is it, pumpkin grass right here, maybe it'll look cute or something. Right here is a thrifted mirror. Um, I did have a thumbtack on here and I had it hanging like that, but I took out the thumbtack. I can't remember why. But yeah, I use this mirror when I'm doing my makeup. I do want to get something bigger, something that has like the lights around it, um, but, but I'm still kind of deciding whether I really need it or not, but yeah. And I love the way it looks, like the little frame that it has, the wooden frame, because I feel like it just kind of ties in with like the basket wall, the, the clothing rack. And so I just keep it there and I love the little gold chain, like I said. And right here I have this little tray, it's a little trinket tray. I got this one at a store called At Home for like seven or eight bucks, it wasn't too expensive. I have a little random Clip. This was a, a set that I got at Marshalls. This water, I use it. I try to use it often, but sometimes I forget. But I have a random paper clip here because sometimes I do work from home and I use this desk. This little um, kind of like an evil eye thing. It's supposed to protect you 
and bring good luck i believe i one of my professors gave it to us when i was in college he gave one to i think all his students and he explained what it was for and i believe it was like you know like for protection or something like that i could be wrong so if you know what this is for please let me know and then i have an old you oh i have an old used and abused elf kabuki brush i love this brush this is the one that i use all the time to apply my powder i love how dense it is and it was like three or five bucks i believe so it wasn't even that expensive and if i had this i've had this one for like two or three years it's been with me for quite some time over here i have a dirty sponge this one is a beauty blender sponge i want to say that this sponge is one of the best ones i've tried it is so soft and it just like is so gentle on your skin when you're applying the product like it just bounces really nice it's not like you're slapping it on there but yeah this one is so it's really really good i really like this sponge and it's like i think 60 percent plant-based makeup jars i diy'd them myself few years ago i want to say like maybe four or five years ago and i used to be into glitter i still like glitter but back then i used to be into it a lot so i you know did my little glitter i think it was just mod podge and glitter that's what i did say at the end of this one was like a spray paint but yeah that's what, this is where i keep my brushes this one is where i keep all my sponges all my dirty sponges i should say they need to be cleaned this one is from walmart it's like an equate sponge and this one as you can it's like a lot denser it's like harder compared to this cute little thing i don't know but this one's still a good sponge for the price you know and but and then i have another one that probably should be thrown out oh it just rolled off and i have another one right down here oh, i forgot about that one this one is a Morphe sponge, and yeah, you can see that it's it's kind of hard. Uh, I love all my sponges, but they do really need to be cleaned. I don't always use them all the time, which is why they're kind of dirty. Right here, I have my eyes, the my like makeup brushes for my like eyes and stuff, or just any small brush. And let's see, I don't use all of them. There's some that I, I really don't use, so I should probably be getting rid of them. And yes, I know these brushes need to be washed. They're, they're in need of a little bath. But yeah, this is where I keep like my highlighter brushes, my fan brushes, like eyeshadow brushes, concealer. This is where I keep them. I do need to go through them and separate the ones that I use with the ones in the ones I don't use. Face brushes right here, powder brushes. This is a stipple brush I use to apply my cream blush. And then this is a, a bigger stipple brush that, that I use for when I do like my um, skin tints. This is what I use just because I feel like it applies it really nicely and I don't have to use my fingers. These brushes right here, I just don't use at all. These I got from Mexico like a year ago. They're cute, but I just don't use them. I like the little star on them actually, but I just don't use them. So I think I, oh, I think I need to just look through them and get rid of the ones that I don't want and just kind of clear up, you know, a little bit more space. All right, so now it's time for the drawers. Right here, I have my, my eye stuff lashes mascara eyeliner tweezers this little tray i believe i got it from bed bath and beyond a few years ago and then the right here in this big drawer is a giant mess that is a coffee stain right here it's kind of like a catch-all drawer i have my face tints in here some palettes i am trying to do my eyeshadow every day even if it's just like a simple color i just try to do it every day so i keep some palettes in here my powder, this one is really good. This is the second one I buy. I do still have the other one, the empty one, but I have like a tiny Ilia powder in there. Just because that one is so tiny, I feel like I can't grab any other products, so I just kind of dump it on the lid of this one. But anyway, my favorite bronzer of all time. This is such a good bronzer. I really like it. Like I said, more, more skin tint, some foundation. What is this? Some setting powder, lotion, some primers. A sunscreen this sunscreen from biosense is really really good it doesn't leave a white cast and it's also reef safe which that's something I'm starting to look for in sunscreens they have to be reef safe just because sunscreens do damage um, 
ocean life like coral reefs and whatnot so I'm trying to be more mindful of the products that I use and how they affect the environment around us so that is what I keep in that drawer I do need to get some little trays to organize it better and over here I have the rest of my stuff some highlights blushes 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 some um what is this eyebrow pomade some lip balm this lip balm is really good i really like it and then some more pigments highlights some more um, blushes and then this one right here it's a tinted lip oil by lila b this one's really good this is the shade B Elegant, and then this one by Rare Beauty. It's one of their tinted lip balms in the shade Compliment. Um, absolutely love it. That's one of my favorites, and so is this one. Absolutely love it. And then I recently purchased this one from Honest Beauty. And this is I actually got it at Target, and this is a lip balm in the shade Fruit Punch. And this one's kind of like a red corally color. It's a gorgeous shade, and then I have... Um, my contour stick, some sunscreens, some more lip products back here, lip glosses, lip liners, all that. And then right here, I have my little, I guess my little YouTube setup. My ring light, I don't always use it. I mostly use it in the mornings when I do my makeup. I Every now and then I do use it when I'm making a video, but most most of the time I like to make my videos during the late during the day because I like the natural daylight. It, I feel like for me, I just like how it looks better versus like the ring light, but that's just me. It does come in handy. Um, this one is from Amazon. I believe it was less than $100. I think it was like 80 or so. It's, it's a pretty big ring light, but there's obviously smaller ones if you're looking into them. You really don't need something this big. Um, and then over here, I have my little chunky boy. This camera, this camera is, a, it's really good. I use this one when I do some of my styling videos or else if not then i'll use the little um sony camera that i'm using right now but this is still it's a good camera i like it it's just you know a beefy chunky camera this right here is my little versatile um tripod I absolutely love to use this one use it for my phone i use it for my little camera that i'm using right now and then over here i have more camera stuff in the closet I did get these baskets from Goodwill. Actually, all these baskets are from Goodwill. I just wanted it to be a little bit more organized, have my batteries, chargers, random little tripods, cables. This little notebook is what I use to write down my little YouTube video ideas, microphones, lights, hard drives, and random stuff like headphones, packaging, little charging cubes, random laptop cable. And of course, I need to have my little puppers clothing this one i got at alcatraz like a two years ago and every now and then i would put on my little dog escape from alcatraz oh so that's where i keep some other clothes over here i have my nail stuff in my closet uh my uv light that i use for my gel nails i have a little set for like acrylic nails i've tried doing them a few times they always come out really chunky because i don't have like the necessary like files like filing tools um, to kind of shape the nail so I really don't mess with that as much anymore and also because it like the liquid that you use it has a really strong smell in this little box is where I keep all my nail polishes files nail clippers some nail glue um, that's where I just keep everything and up here I have some nail brushes some I did a little pack of nails nail tips and then for dip powder nails, this is like, I got this from Amazon. It works. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't use them as much because I always end up picking my nails. And so it just, they don't last that long on me. My little gel nail set. And over here I have my eyeshadow palettes that I use. I don't always use them. I just kind of try to switch them between the ones that I have in the drawer. Just kind of like keep them in rotation. So I use everything random stuff over there and then some random stuff on top but yeah this is what i have in this closet and then a random bag at the other side that i need to look through it's full of clothes another plant with another thrifted plant stand this is a philodendron love it because it's also vining they're super easy to take care of they're a lot like pothos and then right here i have my little bulletin board and this is where i put my little um 
little pictures that I print from my polar camera. I like to keep like pictures of like places we've traveled to. My dogs, of course, and then, you know, just my family. Do have a lot more that I want to print out, but I don't have any more space, so I haven't done that. Um, but yeah, this is the smallest room in the house. I mean, I could have done a different room, bigger room, but it works. I love the way the light just kind of fills the entire room. It's always really bright in here. It's perfect for videos. All right, guys, so that was my little beauty room tour, my beauty room slash office tour. I hope you liked it. As you saw, it wasn't anything too big, anything too crazy or anything intricate it's literally my desk my makeup and you know a few decorations here and there that was everything for today's video please don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you on here you know join my little youtube familia and i will see you in the next video bye